And the Houston Astros win Game 5 of the World Series 7-1, giving them a 3-2 series lead heading back to Houston. Game 6 is Tuesday night with Justin Verlander on the mound, and they have a rare opportunity to close out at home. No team has won the World Series at home since 2013, and the Astros have the opportunity to do just that. The goal got started in the top of the second inning when Jordan Alvarez, he had been struggling all series long, he goes deep on Ross to give the Astros a 2-0 lead. Jordan Alvarez, well hit to center field. Robles can go get it with the best of them, but nobody's going to go up and get that ball. And the decision to start Jordan Alvarez has already paid off for the Astros. See you later! A two-run home run for Jordan Alvarez. And the Astros lead it 2 to nothing. And then Carlos Correa goes yard in the top of the fourth inning, making it 4 nothing Astros. Correa hits a ball to deep left, and that one's going to go 4 nothing Astros. Oh, Carlos Correa with a two-run shot gives the Astros the 4 to nothing lead. And this Washington national team, they were hitting the cover off the baseball in Houston, scoring 17 runs in games one and two. They go a combined one for 19 with runners in scoring position. Their offense just disappeared in Washington. And then George Springer, he had the two-run bomb of his own in the top of the ninth inning. Here in the ninth, and the batter will be Springer. That is crunched into left. Goodbye. A tape measure home run by George Springer. And Springer hits it in the air, deep to left field, and you can kiss it goodbye. Now, Washington Nationals, I'm not going to start calling you the Trashnals again. I'm not going to point out that your logo looks exactly like the Walgreens logo. I'm not doing any of that because I still believe the Washington Nationals are in this series. The home team has lost every game in this series, and they head back to Houston where the Nationals scored 17 runs in the first two games. Not having Max Scherzer go in game five, that of course hurt the Nationals, but umpire Lance Barksdale, he did not have his best night. His correct call percentage was 93.5%. He did give five bad calls to the Nationals, four for the Astros, but that doesn't tell the whole story. If you look at it, that strike call to Robles, that call on Correa on that 0-2 count, it could have got Ross out of the inning and give Ross some credit. He's not a Max Scherzer, he's not a Steven Strasburg, but he should have been out of that inning. That turned into a two-run home run for Carlos Correa. So I really feel like the umpiring did not do any favors to the Washington Nationals, but they have no one else to blame but themselves and their inability to get clutch hits, the same clutch hits that they've been getting all postseason long. Here's Anthony Rendon talking about the Nationals and their need to turn around in clutch situations. <laughs> One for 19 with runners in scoring position the last mm -hmm. two games. Does anything have to change in those at bats approach wise? Um, I don't know. Which, what, what are you seeing? Team yeah, by? try to get hits in that situation and uh, get two for 20, and then three for 21, four for 22, and uh, <laughs> just try to be better. So uh, we'll see if we can turn it around. Is there a way you can get those hits? Is there a, is there a better so way? We have to do these it? bats. That, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and usually you try to square it up. And there's a baseball, and then you hit the outfield grass, and usually they're hit. Does the wood come into play? What kind of wood you're using? Sometimes. Sometimes. What kind of wood you got there? Uh, that's maple. Uh. I love it. A little hitting tutorial by Anthony Randone. Hey, it's not every day you get hitting tips from an all-star third baseman, but I still believe the Nationals are still in this series. The Nationals, they have what it takes to go on the road to get that offense back on track. And remember, the pressure is on the Astros to win game six. They're going against Steven Strasburg, and they're throwing out there Justin Verlander. Verlander, 0-5 in his last five World Series starts. He has to get it done in game six, because if he does it in game seven, they're going to throw out Zach Granke. To me, anything can happen in a game seven. So this series will not get wrapped up on Tuesday night. I see it going seven. Game seven will give you my prediction when I get there. But hey, I still think the Nationals are very much in the series. But game six, Steven Strasburg needs to be on his game. And this offense needs to come alive. But I'm telling you, this series is going seven.